I have to say this past week has been pretty eye-opening. I, along with every Arkansan, have watched as the events unfolding in Israel, we have watched that in horror and sadness. The details are almost too terrible to describe, especially for someone like me who has had the privilege of visiting the Holy Land and building lifelong friendships with a number of Israelis. But one thing is clear, America's enemies are on the march. They are cunning, they are brutal, and they will stop at nothing to harm America and our allies. We know who our enemies are, not just Hamas and Hezbollah, but a regime in Iran that chants death to America, an authoritarian Russia and a Chinese Communist Party whose stated goal is to defeat the United States at every turn. Yet for too long, in the name of tolerance, We've let these dangerous governments infiltrate our country. Arkansas will tolerate them no longer. Today, we are becoming the first state in the country to take an action like the one that we are announcing right now. At the beginning of my term, my administration worked with our partners in the legislature to get hostile foreign entities out of Arkansas. I was proud to sign Act 636, sponsored by Senator Johnson and Representative Vaught, banning foreign parties from nine enemy countries from owning agricultural land in Arkansas. And today, we are acting on that law. I'm announcing that Syngenta, a Chinese state-owned agrochemical company, must give up its land holdings in Arkansas. Syngenta owns 160 acres in northeast Arkansas, which it uses primarily for seed research. The company that owns Syngenta, Kim China, is also on the Department of Defense's list of Chinese military companies posing a clear threat to our state. Seeds are technology. Chinese state-owned corporations filter that technology back to their homeland, stealing American research and telling our enemies how to target American farms. That is a clear threat to our national security and to our great farmers, especially since the Chinese government enacted a law in 2017 requiring Chinese citizens abroad to collaborate with their country's security officials on intelligence work with no questions asked. This isn't about where you're from. We welcome Chinese Americans, Russian Americans, and anyone else who's given up foreign oppression for American freedom. This is about where your loyalties lie. We simply cannot trust those who pledge allegiance to a hostile foreign power. That's why I signed Act 525, sponsored by Representative McKenzie and Senator Boyd, to ban Chinese and Russian-made drones. And it's why I signed Act 758, sponsored by Representative McElindon and Senator Stubblefield, banning public contracts with the CCP. We will make sure that every company operating in Arkansas is a friend to Arkansas and good to hardworking Arkansans. Secretary Ward has already notified Syngenta about this decision. If they refuse to sell, our Attorney General can move forward with legal proceedings and force them to get out of our state. Arkansas will always protect our farmers and our national security interest. I want to thank our legislature for passing this common sense measure, and I want to thank the Department of Agriculture for working so hard on this issue.